All right, guys. So I am now quitting VintageMagic.com. I am now selling new cards. Uh, if anybody wants to buy my old cards, just contact me. Uh, I'm selling them 99% off. Uh, only new cards now. Everybody, buy my new cards. I'm making new cards only. Uh, that's all I got to have to say. Uh, all right. Happy, happy holidays. Bye-bye. Vintage Magic. Game. Collect. Invest. For more information about our consulting and professional services, visit VintageMagic.com. All right, guys, welcome back. This is my friend, David. Hey, David. Hey, how's it going? All right, we're in Seattle, Washington. Gloomy day at Brian Weissman's house. We're playing some old school magic, dicking around. So uh, actually, Alpha 40. But David here is going to help me out. David is a magic uh, commander player, primarily. Yeah, I don't play commander anymore. I mostly buy and sell shit now. Okay. And what we're doing is we're basically... So he has a job on the side, but his dream is to actually... Be a magic store owner one day, right? Yeah, that's plan. An LGS store or uh, online? Probably not a brick and mortar, but mostly online. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of not your. Uh, it, it's it, too much expense for not enough. Too stuff. much stress. Yeah, and I don't see the LGS lasting that much longer anyway. Really? Not, like the small ones? Yeah, the big ones will last. Yeah, but the small ones. Are they dying off? Yeah, I can see that happening. Like a. Uh, what was it like Omnicat era? A bunch of stores died off and nobody cared about them. So Brian's uh, yeah. combed his hair because he has a. The, uh, by the way, guys, if you guys want to watch the deck, the new version of the deck, the 2019 <laughs> cha the, the champion of the champion of old school. We're gonna do a deck tech here in the next video. All right, David. So David's gonna help me out here. As you guys know, I do not handle any new cards, but David is basically gonna help us sell. I will put in his link in the link below his Facebook. And if you guys want any cards, just contact David. Do not contact me. If you contact me, then I'm just going to forward you to David for any of the new cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this view. What the hell is this? Yeah, like that. And so why don't we uh, just give me a – yeah, so why don't you give me the lands first and go from there. All right. So, we'll, yeah, this is a good preview for everybody. First lands are like foreign. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right, guys. So if you want to buy these, David will be your man. So what is this? A you can help me out with the Japanese Skeleton Karn, uh, Japanese Celestial Colonnade with the different art. Now the prices here are not the prices, guys. There you go. That's Zendikar too. That's pretty cool. Uh, Steam Vents. I think it's the original one from Guild Pack. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I like the art. Rob Alexander did these. Lottery Grave and then two Stomping Grounds after that. Yeah. Now people will be playing these in Modern. And they can play modern, legacy, commander, whatever the hell they want. If they want to pimp out their commander decks. Overgrown. Cards people can't read. There's this OG, Guilds, Sulfur Falls, Innistrad, it's cool. Dark Steel. I always like the image of this guy. Yeah, these are really cool cards, guys. I mean, too bad I don't play commander. I, I, these are commander cards too, right? Yeah. Flooded Strands, Sulfur Falls. Are, are they reprinting the crap out of this crap? Like the lands especially. But, uh, yeah, so they're probably worth nothing. Yeah, well, the lands are staples, so they... Yeah, they're playing everything. They're playing everything. They, they, they get about a certain price. They've been playing Cavern Souls a thousand times, right? No, only a few times. Yeah, twice. This is kind of... A, what's this weird foiling? Uh, from the vault. Oh. Do you like this one better, or do you like the... Uh, original foils are a little better. From the vault has a little... Like it turns into potato chips too easily. Oh, Kamigawa. Brian, do you know all these cards? Um, I, I, I certainly know them. Oh, I love this artwork, guys. I should probably recognize the pictures I've seen. Those are, uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's out of the Undiscovered Paradise. Right oh, there. and by the way, Brian, I was going to get an altar. Wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, I was going to get an altar for you. I'm going to make an altar. Um, what, I'm going to find an artist for your Christmas present also. I was going to get an altar of Marlin Spike for you. For yeah. yeah, but I, but the problem, well, the problem with that is that um, the altars I want to use is busy right now, but the one you know the you know the Eric Klug guy. Yeah, I like to ask him because he's like. Look at the actual Marlin Spike from Tintin, because that's what. No, you want to do your house. I know, but the actual Marlin Spike is from the Tintin comics. Oh, I didn't know that. Tintin. My dad, my dad called the house that. Do you actually use? Uh, you actually use Tolarian? For Cadence? Yeah, for your. Uh... It's banned in Commander. Oh, that's for good a... reason. It's a totally insane card. It's, it's, what it's, are these? Those are it's legal and a point card in Canadian Highlander. And obviously it's nuts as hell. Alright, I'll let you take those. 
Right. Hey, David. Yeah, guys, if you want to contact David, David's really nice. He's a reputable seller. Been doing this for a long time. No? He's not? Well, he's helped, actually, he's helped a lot of collectors like Brian uh, broker cards, get deals. Yeah, that's for sure. David's and Brian, yeah. And chasing down a, a huge amount of No, effort. David, David, why don't we give you a plug? So if you guys want to contact David, David, you want new business, right? Hell yeah. So guys, I recommend David. Brian recommends David. David's very trustworthy. Has been this, doing this for I've been, like what, two decades? Yeah, two decades, maybe more. So you're like 20, so you did it when you were zero. Yeah. <laughs> How old are you, by the way? Uh, 30. 30, okay. So David's in the Washington area, uh, Washington State area. So if you guys want to get contact David, David is uh, working at a job right now, but he wants to get out of it to do magic full time. So you if you go. Do you want to mention your online Nick? Because people may know you from that. Oh, Dice and Doomblade from yeah, like exactly. the Magic the Foil. Yeah, he's. David appears on a bunch of different forums under the nickname Dies to Doomblade. You may have read things from him, particularly about the commander format. Yeah, and he used to write a bunch of like primers on decks I built. Yeah, so yeah, a bunch of good fun stuff. Chinese Tinker. I always like this card. Show and tell. Fun card. What smells there? It's a spell scenario. Counter so spell with converting that cost too. This is worth something? Very, very good card. In, it's uncommon. It's not, I don't think it's been printed like. In formats like. Legacy and uh, has Spellsprayer been reprinted at all? Since? Foil, yeah, yeah. In formats with tons of homogenous twos, it's a great card. <clears throat> Counters a lot of really strong cards in the format like JK and stuff. Mind break track. All the bears, all the hate bears get counted back. This is famous, right? My, mind break trap. What is that from? Uh, Zendikar. I'm probably just gonna sell like a playset because it's probably gonna be hard to move one at a time. Right. Oh, so yeah. So, yeah. That goes to figure. Yeah. So yeah. you can't do four of a kind of mystical, but it's a one. Of, it's a restricted card. All right. That's good. Let's take those. And let's do what? What do you want to do next? Screens. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Video. Well, it's just yeah. It's a, it's a good preview. I'll, I'll combine them. What's good for you, David, is people can see that you're gonna be someone that you know if. You can yeah, buy and I sell from. Shit, yeah, guys, if you guys want, David charges a fair commission. David is very reputable. He's done five figure deals for me, and uh, you know, done what Brian stuff like that too with him, right? Oh, around, so I don't, I, I can't even an incalculable amount of assets surrounded up by David. Yeah, so I'm probably over like six figures worth. So I mean, to be yeah, that's way over that. Yeah, so so well, I'll be honest with you guys. If you guys want to just. You know, David's done the big stuff, and this is kind of the this is probably small time for him, but that's okay. David's willing to help out. This girl's hot, Jesus. Yeah, I'm keeping that one for myself. God damn, everybody, I'm married, but Jesus, Kasha. Oh my God. Dude, I'm not gonna. I'm so not this gonna is comment. this is like a Rudy video. <laughs> Crosses a line. This is oh. Ner nerding out over uh, magic art. Where that girl, Shaman? She's awesome. What are you doing, Danny? <laughs> PG thirteen guys, I, I'm gonna get blitzed from wizards saying that I was talking stuff. Okay, next red, Let's do red. Red. Thanks. So, what do you guys think about the market? You guys think the market's gonna go down, David? What do you think right now? The economy. Uh, modern pioneer and standard stuff has been increasing a lot since wizards decided to do a new format. So, I figure these cards, especially, were, it's a pretty good time to sell them. For pioneer. Yeah, pioneer modern. Like next year with them. Uh, Focusing on Commander, I feel like that would be the best time to sell like dual lands because I feel like they'll be going back up once people want to build Commander decks again. When they release like 65,000 new Commanders. 65,000? At least. What do you think about Pioneer? Is it good for Magic? Bad for Magic? No comment. Really? I don't know. I'm not really into it. Like it encompasses the entire time I've been playing, but I've almost solely focus on the older cards because I just like old, weird, broken shit. Right. So you're more primarily of the older stuff, like the old school. Yeah, I never opened a pack of Legends, but it's my favorite set. Look at that, guys. That is sexy. I'm not going to make foils like this JSS anymore. Worship. Worship, everybody. How was your guys' holiday? Good? Ghostly Prison? Path to Exile has been printed a thousand times. Swords to Plowshares, probably the most iconic. What is your favorite version of swords? Go. The one where he looks like he's swinging a, a sword to Plowshares. The golf swing. The original one. one. Yeah, the Jeff Eggs Mangus. Mangus. Yeah. yeah, I like the promo one that they did a while ago. It was like the first world for swords, and now there's like seventy-five of them. 
FBB German Soul Ring. Soul Ring's kind of gone down. There's an IC. There's an old school card. Unlimited. It's nice condition. I think we'll be giving some of the smaller, uh, you know, maybe some bigger um, old school cards to him. David handles different markets. David hand does a lot of, um, he's a lot more active online. So that's that's the thing is I don't have a lot of time. Well, there's a Saga Karn. I always like that card. Zarak. A lot of vintage cards. This one's sad. I'm just... I love Sensei's top, but they restricted it and uh, they banned it in Legacy. Yeah, banned Legacy because everyone's taking too long. Yeah, it just slows the game. Can't do a best of three. That, that card is so miserable playing so online. Chalice, the OG Mirrodin, that's been Modern Masters one, Modern Masters one, and Modern Master and uh, what is it? The not Ultimate Masters. Did it again? Ultimate Masters. All right, last pile, guys. Maelstrom Pulse. Love the, love the artwork of that one. So I hope you guys have a great holiday. David, is there any other places other than Facebook to contact you? I mean, that's where I do most of my uh, business. If you want to contact me by email, it's david2314 at gmail. But I'll probably just forward you to one of the posts of the cards being sold online and we can go from there. So yeah. David, are you going to be doing this as one... A uh, picture of a bunch of cards. How do you usually, for the bigger ones, you probably individually? Yeah, probably be split up by color and if they're like foil and foreign. And it'll be posted in multiple groups. So the foils are all going to the foil group. Foreigns are all going to the card set. Foreign group. And then just a big, like 10 pictures of all the cards listed out. Now, so oh, side note, guys. If you're a, a card shop... Uh, online also, David could potentially do some online buying for you, right? Sure. Have you done that before for vendors? Um, not for vendors, but like friends, if they wanted to pick up some cards, I try to find them the best deal and then get like six, maybe eight percent, depends on the card. Yeah, a couple of friends of mine sold out of their commander stuff and they asked me to sell their cards and I got them the money and yeah, took a small percentage for myself and then that's it. Have you ever traveled to GPs and Magic Fest and all that? They discourage that, but yeah. For the yeah, for the yeah, the trading policy now is kinda yeah. crazy. Yeah. That that's another subject another day. Alright guys, so here you go. You guys contact David. First come, first serve. I'm sure Dave will get right on it. Um, if you guys have any questions, contact him. I'll post this video pretty much uh pretty soon. And then uh again, sorry if you guys miss out on any of the listings. Uh David's pretty fast. And he'll, uh, you know, he'll definitely be a great um, help for my, for my company. And I hope you guys use him too. Right, Brian? Recommend him? Yeah, absolutely. He's been invaluable for me collecting all sorts of cool stuff. And Brian, uh, Brian obviously, uh, Brian trusts David. So I can trust David. Give him a shot here. First time doing business with him. But I look forward to doing more business. If you guys have any questions, David's a great guy. If you guys are in the Seattle area, David could come show you cards or play some Commander. Um, and uh, kind of just talking about old stuff. David, thanks for your time. Happy old holidays. Why don't you wave, wave goodbye for us? Guys, take care. Brian, you ready for your, uh, your deck tech? Yeah, soon enough. Old school Alpha 40 coming up also here shortly. It's going to be a fun day. Alpha All right, guys, take care. Hey, guys, it's me, Daniel, with VintageMagic.com. I'm here to share with you more about our deck and set collector fulfillment service. The deck fulfillment service caters to the player. And what that basically means is if you are a player looking to fulfill your old school magic deck, uh, certain power nine or key pieces in your vintage deck or dual lands in your legacy deck, we have the inventory and the resources to help you fulfill your needs. Next, we have the set collector fulfillment service. This really caters more towards the collector. Oftentimes I've been asked, hey Dan, can you help me find this specific graded card for your, this set? Or Dan, can you find me these 20 cards left in my beta set? It doesn't matter what you're looking for, even if it's like every single Sarah Angel possible out there, I can help you out. My resources and extensive network in Magic the Gathering, I was able to help thousands of clients all over the world fulfill their needs. I've made it my mission at VintageMagic.com to be your one-stop shop for all your collector needs. For any significant item or collection, we're able to travel anywhere in the world to meet you. The reason why my clients love this service because it saves you time. What happens is collectors and players often search all over online 
or vendors and they never find exactly what they're looking for. By going to us, we are the only one-stop shop who can help you with your needs. Using our service gets you exactly what you want and saves you time and money. Vintage Magic. Game. Collect. Invest. For more information about our consulting and professional services, visit VintageMagic.com.